Right, over, miss. What's this trick about? Ah, it's a lot of shite. <laughs> this boy here with the pyjamas on. First thing in the morning, he's opened the door to the council who are cutting down a hundred year old see it belongs to. And the reason they've given him is they said, oh, it's against the law or something. What a rubbish. You swallowed it. Aye, yeah, believes him, I. That's him going off his nut now. Stupid gullible prick. Aye, ah, he's a prick. How many cats me at that? See, if somebody came to my door and said, oh, we're cutting down your prize tree, the tree you grew up with, I'd say, well, that's fine, that's smashing, that's what today, go and cut it down, I'd say, aye. Excuse me a minute, I'm just going out to the kitchen to get a big knife to slit you bastard and throw me. End of conversation. When you catch me running about my pyjamas in the garden, cotton camera. I wouldn't even open the door, Jack. I'd conduct the entire discussion through the letterbox. We're cutting down your big tree, are you? Shotgun through the letterbox. <laughs> Blammo! Good night. You wouldn't even hear the bang. The blast would be muffled by the fat bastard's belly. <laughs> oh, Christ, look at that. There's a presenter coming out now dressed as a polis. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's a bloody magic. You'd never believe he was a polis for a minute. No, I'd do. I'd say, oh, boof, hat off, bedoying, beat it. You're not a polis. Take him daft. <laughs> Oh, turn that shit off, Jack. Aye. Can't he take you anymore? <laughs> I know you're old, see? Sloppish. <laughs> oh, here. Don't pour that. You've reminded me. <clears throat> there you are. What's this? Present. You don't know what day it is? Well, it's not my birthday. Is it my birthday? No, it's not my birthday. Is it? No, but it is an anniversary. Who's? Well, I'll give you a clue. Frank McCallum. <sighs> Frank McCallum? Jesus. Where do I know that name for? Was that the fellow with the big golf ball nose? Ran the cafe at the top of Welsh Road. We limp. Big family. No, that was Bobby Jackson. Jackson's Cafe, sure. Oh, aye, aye. Frank McCallum. The big red-headed bastards used to eat the stuff out the bins. No, <laughs> it was Sammy Baker. Baker the Raker, sure. <laughs> Frank McCallum. Oh, the boy in the tram. Mm, bingo. What else happened that day? That was the day we met. That's right. Sixty year tomorrow. No. Mm -hmm. Sure, we went out and got rat arsed in the 50th. Oh, I am mind of that, aye. Oh, what a he'd have had the next day. Christ, is that ten years ago? Aye, uh, so it's 60 in the morning. <laughs> aye, that's right. I was trying to get across... Uh, Sibley Street. Sibley Street, aye. Boof! Young fella gets knocked down by a tram. Frank McCallum. Frank McCallum. And the driver, he gets out and he sends me away to get help. Then you run into my dad's shop, roaring and greeting, and I come out of the storeroom to see what all the commotion was. And that was it. Best pals ever since. <laughs> right, there you go. Oh, 60 years best pals. That's lovely, that is. Well, I wish you health to drink out it. Smashing. <laughs> Be a taste better than a tanker. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't remember? No, I did not know. <laughs> didn't you have it written down anywhere? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold up, Jack. I know what you're thinking that uh, I'm winding you up and I'm going to burst it by producing a gift. But believe me when I tell you, I didn't you remember? I've got your hee-haw. Now, oh, you lousy big bastard, you. <laughs> I'm standing in that bloody jeweller's getting that thing engraved and you're sitting in the house with your thumb up your arse. <laughs> so that's the way of it, eh? Given to get. Oh, you've bittered this beer now, Jack. Now, we don't talk a lot of pish. All you're doing is covering your red neck with that patter. I am. Um, I feel bad. Didn't it make it any worse? Look, what about this? We're going to tune tomorrow. Celebrate, and I'll take you for a nice meal. Oh, burger and chips in some stinking pub, no doubt. No, 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 no. Up to the value of a tankard. Somewhere proper. Aye. 
Are we tablecloths in that? Of course. <laughs> All right, you're on. <laughs> oh. I was not roaring and greeting. Eh, you were. You were bubbling like a big bloody wave. Get your arse. Eh, you were. Oh, that's lovely. Aye, nice wee breeze. We're going to go mad and get a taxi, are we? Taxi? Into the tune? <laughs> Indeed we will not. He says we're going to cheat me today. Aye, up to the value of a tankard. Taxi into the tune would take you well beyond the tankard threshold amount. <laughs> Tell you what, it's the bus, isn't it? Yes, indeedy. Which for us is free. Yes. Hold the left. Oh, you bastard. Uh, Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this means it now. Uh, I'm getting empty jeans. Oh, look at you, Stu. Oh, done up smart. Nice jackets. Bet he's gone. Well, we are not going to the clansmen. No turned out like that. Must be somewhere good, day, eh? Somewhere special. Eh? What would that be? What would the reason be? A wedding? No, it's not a wedding. We've buttonholes on for a wedding. It's not a funeral because of the tie. And it's not a court case. I'd have heard about that one. <laughs> it's a day out somewhere. Somewhere that isn't a Craig Lang. It's a tune. It's a tune, isn't it? <laughs> I know where you're going. But why? Are you celebrating something? Your birthday? No. Two old pals going into the tune. Two old pals celebrating. Celebrating me. Celebrating just being old pals. That's it, isn't it? What an anniversary. Ooh, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> She's creepy with that. Ah, she gives me the fear. I've got a rare day for it. Aye, aye, aye. Do you know, I can't mind the last time I was in the tune, can you? No. <laughs> right. Where do you want to go first? Now, if it's all right with you, I'd like to pop into that wee tobacconist just off George's Square. That's if it's still there, of course. Fancy something different, something a wee bit exotic, you know. Cos you're not a bit interested in that. No, oh, no, no, no. I could give myself a wee cigar, you know, for after the meal. I enjoy a wee cigar. Aye. Aye, that's right, sweet, eh? Aye, aye. aye. We Tom Thumb. Cafe Creme. Mmm. Or a Slim Panatella. Aye, aye. Or a Hamlet. Mm hmm. Or a Costello. That's plenty. <laughs> hey ho. Oh. We used to doing out your wank and chariots this time in the morning. <laughs> Good, <I'm> too. <laughs> well, I'll come with you. I'm doing nothing anyway. No. Eh? I know. Victor's taking me for my lunch. We're having a wee day. At... Oh. That's smashing for you. What's that, Nady? Sixty years we've been palling it about together. All right. Well, just amuse myself the day then, will I? Aye. Sorry, Winston, that's just the way of it. Well, fine. Enjoy yourselves. See you, bye. Here. Yeah. Think we should have asked them to come along with us? Aye, I feel a bit rotten now. Oh. We ain't give a shout. Aye, all right then. I'll just ask. Mind and hold each other's hands in the town now. It's very dangerous. But cut, keep your purse with you at all times. And Jack, if you need the toilet, you have to say you need the toilet. <laughs> but above all, have a good day, you couple of pansy. Creepy Jesse bastards! <laughs> I used to be a fur coat shop. Aye. And that was a haberdash, aye. Aye. Oh, the tower's away, Jack. Used to be a clock up there, do you mind? I always tell if you're running late, you know. <laughs> I used to be a big barrels, aye. Aye. Oh, that's a 50 bob tailors, do you mind? <laughs> you see. Oh, I can we cut all the all our yesterday's routine, eh? Before I bust out with the bloody hankies. I'm tanking here. Can we get some tobacco? Aye. I say, this is a lovely shop you've got, eh? Thanks very much. What are you after? Yeah, pipe tobacco. Oh, eh, uh, I wouldn't mind a look at your cigars. Some here, more over there. The thing is, we're here for a place called Craig Lang. It's on a corner shop that's there. We newsagents, really. We're going to go to the two types and Bruno and Drum, you know. Oh, dear. 
Well, you'll not have that problem here. Ah, uh, jeez, oh, some choice. I wouldn't know where to start. Take as long as you like. I've over 70 brands from all over the world. If you want a wee try before you buy, feel free. Hmm. <laughs> Crab it, bastard. Good day! Good <laughs> up, handsome. Well, I'm no expert on tobacco shop etiquette, Jack, but maybe trying 17 different kinds before plumping for your regular brand. Isn't it a done thing? Oh, well, you just stick to what you know. Aye. <laughs> What's he singing, Jack? You know any Perry Como, son? Oh, I dig it, I dig it, what you do to me? That's it. It's so good. What you do to me? I dig it, I dig it, what you do to me? When you're holding me tight. Poison me. Well, sir. Hey, oh hi, hi, ah, it's a, it's a smashing telly. But I've got a perfectly good 22-inch Grundig in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh? Look at this place, fabulous, eh? Fancy. Uh, uh, uh. Here, come we'll get that seat. Uh, 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 hold on. How? You have to wait to be seated. For what? The place is empty. Aye, uh, well, that's what you do. Do you not know nothing? <laughs> oh, hello there, sweetheart. Uh, uh, can we have a table for two? Two pals. <laughs> is it smoking or non smoking? Eh, uh, smoking, aye. Uh. Can we get that seat, Hen? Yeah. <laughs> can I take your jackets? <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Jack. What do you think, eh? This place looks a wee bit rough. <laughs> Will we ever see them again, sweetheart? Yeah, they'll just be in the coat stand over there. Jesus, you my bypass, Jack. <laughs> what would you like to drink? Eh, just a couple of beer, darling. OK, well, we've got Genuine Draft, Rolling Rock, Peroni, Sapporo, Sol, Tiger, San Miguel, Heineken, Stella Artois, Miklob, Schliemann's Honey Beer, or Budvar. You just want a couple of pints, don't you? <laughs> Look at this. What the roof of a bloody hoose. <laughs> <laughs> <Aye. clears throat> <clears throat> oh. Well, here, that can't be right. Jesus, eight pound. Eight pound for a plate of bloody soup. You clocked out, Victor. Eight pounds. It's about steep, is it? No. Victor. <laughs> Oh. Hey, quick, before she comes back. Oh, oh, aye. Aye. Oh. aye, aye, absolutely. Yes, I just uh, <laughs> got my jacket because uh, the pipe's in the pocket, see? See? Look. Oh. <coughs> right. right, now, what to have, eh? Uh, well, to start, I'll have the duck patty with Scottish oat cakes. Uh, I'll have the shrimp uh, wrapped in the phyllo paste. And for the main, uh, <coughs> sirloin steak, well done, uh, with the mashed potatoes and the dyed John mustard. Uh, 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 and the corn chicken breath was rosemary and minted potatoes uh, resting on a bed of uh, couscous and a side of asparagus with uh, hot butter. <coughs> Come to think of it, Jack, I'm not that hungry. That's right, neither am I. Uh, will we just have some ice cream? Yes, two plates of ice cream, please. We've not been in here before now. No, we haven't. 
We haven't actually eaten a tune for about 20 odd years. Uh, see, the thing is, um, me and my pal, well, we've known each other 60 years the, the day. So as a wee celebration, we thought we'd have a nice meal, you know. But we're a wee bit out of depth with this menu. Would it be all right just to have ice cream? Mm -hmm. Sure, that's what he's wanting. Aye, two plates of ice cream, son. Thanks very much. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks very much. Now, let me toast then. Frank McCallum. Aye, Frank McCallum. <laughs> That's set me up for my ice cream now. I mean, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 the bus here, son. We ordered. Shh, it. the kid, I'll take care of you. Well, I don't know if I should be letting you do that, son. Uh, look, if my old man came in here and saw these prices, he'd have a heart attack as well, please. Well, that's it. Uh, what's your name, son? Nori. Gone wide in. Thank you, Nori. <laughs> Count on me. Find a mountain to climb And see you'll need but a single glance To see the view Won't you count on me Just a little amount of me Goes further than free finance Star the cube. Don't think I'm ruined. I uh, mean, I know I can hardly bloody move. <laughs> what a tightener, eh? Wait till we tell Winston. <laughs> I'll be feeling. <laughs> what do we do now? Eh, get a hold of Norman. Naughty! It's a bell first. I'll get their ball. You get their ball. Did you enjoy your meal? Eh, uh, it was lovely. Uh, Norman was serving us. How's it going, gents? 140 quid! <laughs> Ah, it's a bastard. I'll go hoppers with you. Oh, shut up! Well, that's charming, isn't it? Shut up. What are you doing? I'm going through this bill. Again? Oh, can it be right? That's what it costs, Victor. You saw the bloody menu. Stop torturing yourself. Get that to me. Scandalous. £32 for a tiny wee bit of chicken. Three toty wee totties and all. <laughs> Stop it, Jack! Ah, it's a kick in the balls right enough. <laughs> but what a meal, eh? I'll remember that for the rest of my days. Ah, I suppose so, aye. Here. That wine was something else, eh? <laughs> aye, aye, we've treated ourselves good and proper. And rightly so. Sixty years is a long time. You can't put a price in a thing like that. Aye, you can. It's not as much as 140 quid either. <laughs> Get your cell together. This is New York stop, Jack. Aye, I know, it's a wee diversion. Come on, you'll enjoy that. <laughs> Four o'clock. That gives us a good hour to look round. I'm not paying to get in here, but... That's all right, I'll get it. Fly by stop. <laughs> <laughs> This is smashing, eh? Aye, it's the berries, ain't enough, eh? Oh, well, the old shops. <laughs> the right wonder didn't memory lane, isn't it? <laughs> Aye. I reckon you saved that boy's life that day. You think? Aye, I showed a lot of foresight running into the only shop in the street that had a phone. <laughs> Don't know about foresight, Jack. Luck, maybe. Right enough. Nobody really had phones back then, did they? No, they did not. Fate, you'd have to call it. Aye. Fate. So 
Some flashback to old Corey. <laughs> Aye. Should never have done away with these things. Smashing thing, eh? Aye. Do you think that's the one to knock Frank McCallum do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so, Victor. Mm. That's the three that used to go through Pollock Shields. It was a 46 that knocked that boy down. 60 years, he wouldn't believe it, would you? Frightening looking big bugger that, eh? <laughs> eh? Aye. Aye, it is, aye. I never knew this place was here. It was my daughter that told me. Aye, aye, aye. The only reason we're here is my pal here, Victor, saved a boy's life that got hit by a car. Long time ago, that's the day we met. You know, that's the reason we're back here today. Sixty year ago of the day. Aye, that's right, aye. Aye, sixty year. Frank McCallum. Uh, six months I was in the hospital. I didn't think I was going to make it. So I was saying to my daughter the other day, well, that'll be sixty years since I got knocked down. <laughs> it's her suggestion that I come here. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, that time passes. And where do we meet you again? Right next to a bloody tram. <laughs> <laughs> In a lot happier circumstances, too, yeah. Aye, aye. Uh, well, uh, I'd better get my skates on. Uh, I'm going to pick up some for my supper. You know. Why don't you have your supper with us? Eh? Aye, uh, come up to yours and get something to eat. Have a couple of halves and catch up. Eh? Aye, Frank, you'd be more than welcome, mate. Well, that's a very kind offer, boys. Aye, hey, that would be lovely. Good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, that was lovely. Mm. Thanks for that. Enjoy that, Jake. That was lovely, aye. Wasn't it as good as lunch, but... Oh. <laughs> so, Frank, what did you do when you came out of the Merchant Navy? Oh, aye, aye. Well, I'd met this lovely lassie in Portugal. Leone. Oh, you might have seen her. Gorgeous. Thin as a pin. <laughs> anyway, we got married out there, and then I brought her home, and we had our daughter Cindy. Ah, Leone and I were very happy. She's still living? Aye. We're a lousy knee user bastard in the south side. <laughs> She's a big fat cow now. Oh. <laughs> she couldn't help come down with a tram. She derail the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's a bit of a surprise, I say. That's three sitting here. Oh, it's more surprising as he's broke out with them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saving this for a very special occasion. If this isn't a special occasion, I don't know what is. Ooh. Right, uh, you might harm with these plates. Not at all. Me and Jack will get these. Want a slice of Vionetta? What is that? It's sort of an ice cream bar with chocolate laced through it. It's lovely. Aye, well, I'll help you with a plate of that, then. Help yourself to a wee wall there, Frank. Cheers, Victor. Where is he? Well, he must be in the slasher. Look <laughs> this stuff. Mm. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's smashing that, eh? Some day we've had, eh? Aye. Nice bell, isn't it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a big slice of good him. He's a guest. Take a wee end off. Right! Oh, right. <laughs> Bit of respect. The man's in the toilet and you're trying to steal his pudding. Right, I'm going to get a smoke. <laughs> Victor, where's my coat? <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> a carriage clock, sports jacket and a wallet. Aye, right, 60 quid in it. And a pipe and two ounces of tobacco. Shh! <laughs> what else, eh? 
Who's your tankard? Oh, my tankard, you bastard! <laughs> Sorry, hey. No, no, you. <laughs> yes, I right, know. Right. <clears throat> what are you doing? Well, he's hardly coming back, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Frank McCallum, so I was Frank McCallum. <laughs> Kill that daft old duffers. So, they took you up to their house? Aye, ah, fed me and whacked me. And then when I got a chance, I lifted this stuff. Jesus, Davy. I thought you chucked all that. Still at the blag at your age. I know, eh? <laughs> ah, stupid old bastards. They deserve all they get. Right, I'm away out of the road. Try and unload this gear. I think everybody gets their stuff back after being robbed, eh? No. Frank McCallum. Frank McCallum. Or whoever you actually were. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink your beer out of that. Drink it out your tanker. <laughs> Mr. Liger, please, Bobby. Yeah. Winston was saying you were in the tune yesterday. Celebrating 60 years of being pals, eh? Aye, that's right. What a day it turned out to be, eh, Jack boy? Fantastic. Did Winston also mention all the shouting and bawling he was doing at the bus stop, Connors Jesse's and all that? Aye, bang in the window shouting, you bunch of pansies. Kid is a right holy showing up, didn't he? Just because we didn't ask him to come with us, eh? No, he didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, lads, I'm sorry about that, right? I went in the huff because he's wouldn't let me come with you. I realise now it was your day and you didn't want me hanging about like a gooseberry. Are you still talking to me? Aye, I suppose so. No hard feelings. Right. <clears throat> let me get you a drink. Nah, you're all right. No, no, no. I insist. Bobby, get us a couple of drinks. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to friendship, to two pals who've stuck together through thick and thin for the past 60 years. Jack and Victor. A couple of bum chums.